could make the strings louder. Welcome back guys. Today we'll be continuing graph theory. So today we'll be learning about connected, disconnected graph and component of a graph. So let's start it. So first connected connected graph. So a graph G is called a connected graph if there exists at least one path between every two vertices every two vertices at least at least is important in graph g so let us see an example suppose we have a graph something like this so this be a b c d e so between two uh, uh, graph if there is at least one path between every two vertices there is between two vertices at least one path see each each pair of vertices have at least one path if you we'll join like this this is also connected graph because at least more than one is also present so this is connected graph now for disconnected so if there exists no path between every two vertices between every two vertices this is simple suppose we take the same example and a b c d e f g here we see that uh, these are connect this is connected graph this is also connected graph but as a whole it is not a connected graph because the points d the vertices d and e are not connected so this is a connected graph as a whole now component of a graph so component a disconnected graph consists of two or more connected subgraphs connected subgraphs each of these maximal connected subgraph are called components of a graph so and there is also a point a graph that contain only one vertices contain one vertex one vertex sorry is also is also a connected graph so what a component means so for a component in a disconnected graph as a whole there should be two or more connected graph see we can see that this all the vertices have at least one edge or path between them here also and we can see this is also connected graph so so this was all about connected graph disconnected and component of graph thanks for watching it